Welcome back. Now in this video, we're going to be using the quizzing feature and we're actually going to use it in order to produce a survey. So we're going to first, we're going to bring the markers track and we're going to make sure that the quiz is selected, not the marker. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come into this track and we're going to do, we're going to add in a survey at the end of our video. Now what we're going to do is we're going to name this, uh, we're going to rename this as our survey. And you'll notice that it renames as a survey here. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to populate our survey. And we're going to start by going to the question mark at the very top here. And then we're going to enter our first question. And when we write that question, we're going to decide on how we're going to do it. And we're going to write in our question. Okay, so we now have our question in. And now what we're going to do is going to write in the answers. One thing we want to do at the beginning of the quiz is we want to make sure that the viewers do not see their results, but at the same time that we do score the quiz. So now that we've seen that, we're going to go back to the question area. And what we want to do now is we want to display feedback. Now, if they get the correct answer, which is today, we want to give them a message. Right, so we've said click to get 25% off instantly today. And so we're going to go to a URL that they get that right. And so we're going to put that URL in there. Now if they don't choose the answer that we want, we want to send them someplace else. So we're going to give them a different message. So we've said click here to get more information on how it works. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to URL. We're going to give a different URL now. Now, you want to make sure that they've got some reason to want to continue the quiz all the way through. So, you're going to stop at the end of the content, but before the video ends, and you're going to give them some reason to continue. You want to give them some instructions that they'll get their prize or whatever they're going to get if they take a five-minute survey. And then you want to give them some instructions at this point. Okay, so we've got a little message there saying, okay, take the quiz. Take our five minute survey and then we'll get your prize ready. So they know they've got to continue and then they'll get whatever you promise them before they finish the video. So now what we're going to do is we're going to need to produce the video. And like the video that we needed to produce for the interactive hotspot, we'll need to produce a certain kind of video. We're going to do a custom production. We're going to do another new custom production. And once again, we're going to need to create a smart player with this video. Now this video will have some interactivity in it and the quiz will be that interactivity. So now what's important before we end this video is to walk you through steps you're going to need to take in order to customize your quiz. So you're going to click next here and you will have your controller there. You can decide on the size and the video settings and the audio settings. Now, what's going to be important is that you have quizzing ticked, and then you're gonna click next. What you're going to do now is you're going to click next, and you're going to be given an opportunity to make sure that your users can take the quiz anonymously, or you can require them to input their name and email address. But before you do that, you're going to want to make sure that the quiz appears the way you want it to. And so you're going to want to make sure that what shows up is going to be take a five minute survey. We're going to get rid of the view answers button. We want the continue button, the previous button, the next button, and then the submit answers button. We're actually not going to allow replay the last section. So we're going to click OK. So now our quiz is going to be ready and we're going to click next. So now we'll need to produce the video in order to have 
the files that we need in order to do the quiz. So let's go ahead and produce the video off camera and then we'll take a look at the quiz. And we're now going to click the finish button. So when our video is installed and it plays, you'll notice that it's going to say now take a five minute survey. And then we're going to have that question that we wrote. We're going to say today. And we're going to submit our answer. And then it says click to get 25% off instantly today. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to continue. And it's going to go to Google the way we want it. So quizzing and surveying can be an excellent way of being able to direct people where you want them to be based on the information that you give them in your video. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.